all right so this is going to be the last part to get the graph into working and as so far what we have done is we have got this data but as i told you we need the data in a different format we need labels so i'll keep that as an empty array we need rows again another empty array and now let's see we do a for each user activity data as value and then so what do we have here we have labels which is going to take the date which is in you know a format like APR and then the date April 7th April 8th like so and then we have the count okay we are going to create another array which is data in that we have labels which should contain labels and it will have rows which will have the rows data and last we will send the data all right now time to get the chart js you know into working now this is on mounted but obviously we will do all these things when we have the data right so why don't we do one thing we have methods in this sorry that's not an array it's an object set graph and we'll do this mm, we need data okay we are going to return an object and that will have rows which is going to be an array we will have labels which is also an array and then we are going to use axios right so import axios from axios and then axios.get we did have the config right so let's see import config.js oops config.js watchdog date import it from uh, this we get one and then config yeah that's about it so watchdog date once we have then response function what do we do here we know that the response will be response dot data dot data right okay let me first console it now it's been a long time since we are writing code and we haven't seen our browser whether it is working or not so yeah we are getting the data nothing should come right now because we have removed it from the mounted object so we have data data labels all the labels right and we have the rows correct so what do we do this dot rows equals response dot data dot data dot rows okay and we we'll have labels which is labels and now it's very simple in data we're going to use this dot rows and in here this dot labels and this entire thing function we will call when we have the data like so all right so we save it and we refresh and yes we have the dynamic graph so you know we have finally from the hard-coded data rendered something which is new and we can use this for practically anything we have bar graphs we have line charts and many more which you can play around with now, this wrapper itself gives us a lot of other options to play around with and yeah so it's up to you and your creativity of what you can do so thanks for watching guys this is the series on how we can implement charges and get beautiful graph data on our dashboards
If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.